The Fitel Ninja Handheld Single Fiber Fusion Splicer offers reliable optical fiber splicing even under harsh environmental conditions. A large capacity battery system helps save time by allowing 100 splicing cycles in one charge. The Fitel Ninja Fusion Splicer has a 3.5 inch color LCD screen and three LED lamps illuminating the entire splicing chamber, making it easy to perform work in dark environments. It has a detachable V-groove that makes cleaning and maintenance a breeze. And it is compatible with splice-on connectors, including the Cheetah and Armadillo splice-on connectors from FIS. Remember, before using a fiber optic fusion splicer, you must perform an arc calibration. The video link will be in description below. Before terminating splice-on connectors on the Fitel Ninja Fusion Splicer, set up the machine for single-mode fiber. Go to the menu and select the Fusion program and make sure it is set on single-mode. Next, set the heat oven for the mini splice sleeve. Go to the menu and select the heater program and scroll down to the mini other option. Now the machine is set up for single mode and a mini splice sleeve. Take the FIS splice on connector blister pack and turn it upside down. Fold in half and open it from the back. In the pack there is the splice on connector with cleave protector, 27 millimeter splice sleeve, the custom 900 micron boot, and the SC external housing. Take the field fiber and assemble the back of the connector. First, slide the 900 micron boot Then slide the 27 mm splice sleeve. Take the tri-hole stripper and strip the 900 micron jacket. Strip a quarter of an inch at a time, so you don't run the risk of breaking the glass. After removing the 900 micron jacket, use the 250 micron slot of the stripper and remove the acrylate coating. To clean the fiber, use 99% isopropyl alcohol and a low lint wipe. Take the 900 micron fiber holder and with the fiber curling bending down, place the fiber into the groove right up to the end of the fiber holder. Take the cleaver, open, then place the fiber holder into the cleaver close to cleave the fiber. Next, take the cleaved fiber that is in the holder and place it into the splicer. Notice, the fiber is past the blue pad of the V-groove, but not extended far enough to the electrodes. On the other side of the splicer, use the FIS splice-on connector holder. Take the dust cap off, remove the cleaver protector, and lay the SOC in the connector holder. Once again, both fibers are past the blue pad of the V-grooves, but are not extended far enough to the electrodes. Close lid and press the green play button. After the splice, the splicer will give you an estimated splice loss. When splice is complete, Open the lid and gently pull the fiber right out of the splicer. Next, slide down the splice sleeve so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron tight buffer and place it into the oven. The red light indicates that the oven is melting the splice sleeve. The timer here indicates the heating method. When the heating sequence is done, 
open the oven lid and pull out the connector. Make sure you have an even melt along the splice sleeve prior to sliding the boot up. Slide the boot up over to the back body of the connector. Take your SC housing, match up the keyways and slide it on. An audible click should be heard. Put the dust cap on. The termination of the FIS 900 Micron Cheetah Splice On Connector is now complete. To purchase any of the products used in this video, contact Fiber Instrument Sales at 1-800-500-0347 or go to our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com. Subscribe to our channel for new videos.